Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Monday, November 15th, 2021. I'm the drunk poker who tis beer time. So the other day, I went in search for beer, and I went to the wrong LCBO. They didn't have it, but they had something that I wanted, so I was fine. But then today, I'm like, on the way home, I need to stop and get this particular beer, because it is one of my all-time favorite beers. In fact, it was the 2016 Beer of the Year, in my eyes. From our friends at Great Lakes Brewing, hashtag FreshGLB, comes the return of Lake Effect, American IPA, 7%. Hello. Uh, bottle. One of the, you know, I have a few bottles left. The, the old school bottles, 650 mil. I mean, the painted bottles are just, they are the best. And they bring great memories. So, uh, I went and looked up, like, why was this my beer of the year? And it was one of the first IPAs that I ever really liked. And it was the first one of the uh, seasonal beers I ever... I didn't know beer was seasonal. You just buy your beer. You go to the, to the beer store and you buy a two-four. I didn't... I had no concept of, of seasonality in beer, uh, that they would come back. I was like, what do you mean, come back? Where'd it go? So these are things I learned. Thanks to Lake Effect. My good friends, GLB. Hashtag. GLB Lacing. Um... Yeah, so I mean, this this beer is, it is one of those beers I, I look forward to when it comes out. I love it when it hits the LCBO, because sometimes they, they make decisions on beers that go to the LCBO, and don't go to the LCBO, whatever. Um, this year seemed great, you know, Saison to Pump come back, and we just had Thrust the other, Thrust, right? Uh, such a lovely, lovely beer. Anyways, cheers to my friends at GLB for bringing this back to the LCBO. It was like an early Christmas present, and that, who doesn't like that? Let's go, cheers. So this beer is one of those beers that when it comes back and I get it, I'm all excited and there's always a discussion. The dill from the Sriracha Ace. The dill. It's there. It, it, but I never noticed it for years. And now that, you know, my palate is better, not as good as Mrs. Polk's, clearly nowhere near as good as hers. Um, so for me, it's that upfront mango, grapefruit, um, orange. There's that nice bit of pine on the back, the pith and bitterness. But there is that kind of, there's a bit of winter green mint and dill and it just freaking works it's beautiful the body is perfect the malt body toasty it's toasty malt but not like think don't think english ipa or west coast ipa this 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 would lean to the west with its bitterness because it does have a very assertive bitterness to it but but kind of cedar pine because i think that that's where that the dill comes in and the and the, the citrus and all of that comes together and i get like this kind of cedar pine I don't know. It's really good. It's just, I love this beer. And like, I really dig Thrust. Um, Octopus wants to fight. Like just, yeah, sure. Fantastic. No doubt. But there's something about this one that's just special. It, it, I mean, it's been, what, six years since I had it for the first time, five years since we made it the beer of the year. <sighs> Two seconds since I remembered why oh, I love it so much. It's just really good. And I don't want you to think that like, this deal is like this overwhelming. It's not. It's very subtle. But because I'm looking for it, and then I find it mixes in with the grapefruit and the orange pit, the bitterness, and the pine, it's just everything is so good together. Like, that's that's the hallmark of a really good beer, I think. I think if we get down to why we like certain beers, it's and especially beers like this that are, you know, this isn't a hazy IPA. This isn't a big, you know, bourbon barrel aged beer which we love but when it comes back every year it puts a smile on my face you know i had to wait to get it a few days and that's fine i wasn't too upset i, mean, I was a little upset i was kind of mad at myself i was like why didn't you go get it yet when are you gonna go get it when are we gonna get the pretzel money when does the pretzel money come in i don't know i watch too much tv you guys are having a good monday sometimes when things are tough and, you know, the, the, not everything is shiny in the world. And, you know, you got some things going on in your life, maybe. If you can have a couple tree beers and just kind of relax a little bit. And I'm not talking about ham. I'm just talking about you have a couple tree beers. I two beers. You got two beers. That's enough. And just enjoy your evening. Take it easy. Tomorrow you go back. Tomorrow's another day. We'll go back and do it again. And we'll try again. And we'll try again. And we'll try again. And that's what we do. Just try to get better every day. But thank you to Great Lakes for bringing us back. Happy to see it. 
The tap room is open at Great Lakes if you want to go have a beer inside, which I'm going to do soon because I miss my friends at Great Lakes a lot. Cheers to you, my internet friends, the and me who's watching this later. Um, I hope you're doing okay. I really do. I wish you well. Christmas is coming. Let's get some decorations out. Cheers. Beautiful.